हे गाइज वेलकम बैक सो दिस इज अ क्विक वीडियो बिकॉज थिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मैसेजेस वेर पीपल वर आस्किंग हाउ कैन वी रन दीज ओपन सोर्स एल एल एम्स दैट आर कमिंग आउट विच आर परफॉर्मिंग रियली गुड बट हाउ कैन वी रन दैम ऑन अ मैक सिस्टम सो देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ वेज वी कैन डू दैट बट वन ऑफ दैम इज जेन डॉट ए आई सो दिस इज एन ओपन सोर्स टूल दैट इज आउट देयर एंड इट्स गेनिंग अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रैक्शन फॉर गुड रीजन द यू आई इज ईजी इट्स ईजी टू ऑपरेट and compatible with most of the llms so let's just see how we can get it up and running so all we have to do is we have to come on gen.ai and this is how the landing page looks like so you can go through this particular website see all the features that they have so first feature is chat with ai so it has a clean interface where you can chat with the llm of your choice open source then we have a model hub which has a lot of api providers or llm providers and you can connect with apis as well as download open source llms so that is what it says connect to cloud ais so for example you can use open ai just have to put in your api key we have local api server now this is really good because if you want to run your llms with another application you can just start this server get an endpoint and start api request locally then it also has an experimental feature of chatting with your own files so to download this tool what we have to do is we just have to come and click on this button we'll wait for it to download now as it has been downloaded i'll just double tap on it and now it gives me this icon and this is how basically you install any app on mac system you just have to drag and drop it into applications folder i already had it so it gave me that prompt so now it has been installed let's just open it up so when we first open up this app this is how it will look like so because we don't have any llm downloaded till now it is saying that explore the hub let's just click on it and here you can see all the open source llm that it supports that you can download and the best part it also showcases that will this llm run good on your system or will it be slow on your device and in some cases it might not have enough ram to run this model so based on your own system specifications you can download llms and start working with it but for this demo let's just pick up the most smallest one which is llama 3.2 1 billion instruct it's a very small file which is 1.23 gb i'll click download and now it starts fetching the model files so now this has been downloaded and now the button has been changed to use let's click on it As soon as we do that, we can see that our model 3.2 has been selected. Net. Now let's ask a question. So it's starting the model, and we can see that the assistant has started to give answer, and it also showcases the token speed. So we can see that the token speed and also the output that is coming out. and mind you this is running locally on the system because the model file has been downloaded so you can use it without even the access of internet if you want to start a new conversation you just have to click on this button and we have a new conversation then you can manage your previous conversations from here now if you want to go back to the model hub you can just click on this hub and you are back to the place where you can download the model now let's see some of the settings If I click on settings, here are all the settings that are available. So we can see that all of these model providers are there. So for example, if I want to use Anthropic, I can just click plus and then add my Anthropic API key here and also the endpoint which is already present and then just can go back and select our different model from here by clicking on cloud and then clicking on Anthropic and we can start using Anthropic through the api but in this user interface similarly we can have cohere grok martian nvidia mistral open ai and open router so through all of these cloud llm providers we'll be able to access most of the closed models but on device we can download the open source ones we can even change the parameters which is frequency penalty 
max tokens, presence penalty and all of these settings for each of the model that we are trying to use. So this was a quick video. I would encourage everyone to download this open source tool and start using it. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.